morning, everyone. Everybody, welcome to holiday. I'm waking up this morning, as you can tell, after a long holiday weekend. Um, today, we're going to be talking about the Jeep Liberty and uh, the characteristics that make this Jeep popular. A lot of it is the aggressive stance. So when you stand back and you look at this Jeep, it's got a wider stance. I'm talking kind of a little bit from its predecessor. This Jeep's been or Liberty's been out for a number of years. But they made a, a major change in it in the last few years. So they made it wider, they made it longer, and they made it more aggressive. Uh, it's got the signature looks to the Jeep, which is going to have the seven-slotted grille. It's going to have the round headlights, which is one of the key features of the Liberty. It's also going to have the trapezoidal uh, wheel wells. Again, characteristics of Jeep. Looking at the interior of the hood here, let me pop the, pop the hood. This vehicle comes in three different trim levels. Uh, Engine-wise, what we're talking about is a 3.7 liter engine, which offers 210 horsepower, 235 feet of, uh, of pounds of torque. Uh, very aggressive engine, strong, powerful, you got to remember that this is still a Jeep, and so with Jeep, it has the off-road capabilities. The other thing with this particular vehicle, with the six-cylinder engine, which this is, it has a, a great towing capacity. It's got a 5,000-pound towing capacity. So the Jeep is made for off-roading. Uh, it's capable of that because it has a two-speed uh, gearbox, so you can shift it from two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive, four-wheel low. It's capable of even pulling behind a motorhome. I have a number of my customers that are retired that have Jeep liberties that they tow behind their motorhomes to go to Arizona or go to Florida. But anyhow, engine-wise, very capable, very durable. The other thing is, all of you look inside here, all of the service points underneath the engine are done in yellow. So when you're doing your oil check, you're doing your uh, coolant, you're doing your windshield washer, and also your uh, brake fluid. The battery's right up front too, so again, it's very easy to operate. Um, one other thing with the, this particular model, the car has crush uh, zones and crumple zones to the front. So in a front impact collision, the engine is designed that instead of coming into the uh, passenger compartment, it'll literally go down and away from the ca passenger compartment. So the crumple zones save lives. The other thing is you do have side uh, beams built in the sides of all the doors, and again, there again for safety. When you're coming around to the side with this particular model, they offer three different wheel sizes. Or actually, uh, there's 16, which is the standard wheel, 17s, 18s, and 20s. So it's actually four different size wheels. There again, you have the different packages available from a base sport to a limited, to a limited jet. And then this, this is a new model this year, which is called the Latitude. Now the Latitude has got a little bit of everything from the regular sport and then also it does have the characteristics of the Limited. Whereby with the Limited and with this model, you do have leather seating on the interior. You do have heated leather seating. You also have nice chrome chrome wheels. This one will have the upgraded wheels, so they're 18 inch wheels. Rather than this, the standard, you know, which would be a 16, this is already up to an 18 inch wheel. Uh, again, it's all about the lines and the safety of the vehicle. It has multi-stage front airbags, it has side airbags. So again, it's going to be a safe vehicle for your family, for yourself. And it's capable of this off-road characteristics. So we're going around the back of the vehicle. Again, the towing feature is one that makes this vehicle different than a lot of the competitors in the market because of the amount of tow capacity. The towing capacity is 5,000 pounds. And then with that capacity, so the people that want a vehicle that's nimble, that could go in the snow and also pull their snowmobiles, pull their uh, SUV, you know, you know, your, you know, it's not, not, not SUVs, but your uh, four-wheelers and stuff like that. You'll find with the hitch, you've got a seven-prong hook up here, so it's very, very capable and it's not obtrusive looking. On the back end of the Jeep, you do have a double opening tailgate. So, the advantage of that is if you have groceries, you don't want to open the whole tailgate, you can just open the window. 
And then you also have the availability of the full hatch to pop open. Cargo area is 63 and a half square feet, so for the interior of it, cubic feet, excuse me, so that you've got a lot of space in the inside. And again, with this particular model, with the latitude, you do have the cover. And this is great for in the holiday season. If you want to cover up gifts when you're at shopping mall, it makes it more secure. The seats are also designed to fold flat, including the passenger seat. So if you're going to make a Menards trip, you go to Menards, you can get a long board in here, and it makes uh, very functional. You also have a little compartment in the back here that reverses, flips over. So if you're transporting uh, plants or if you're using this for hunting, I mean, you've got some fowl that you want to get, if you shot some you know, ducks or something, you can put them back here, and you don't have to worry about the carpets getting all dirty. This will just fit right in the slot, like so, and lock into position so it becomes secure. There's also anchors in here that are built in, I don't know if you can see that, Craig, so that you can strap things down. We do have a power outlet that's built in the back here, too. So having the extra power, so if you want to hook up for a uh, cooler or something like that, and this is also your spot where your jack is hidden. And the spare tire is down right below here, so there's a port access right here to crank it down. Again, ease of, uh, ease of operations, ease of use. Um, there's some safety features in the vehicle, too. Uh, I've been talking about the, the capacity for pulling trailers. This has got an anti-sway system that's part of the four-wheel anti-lock disc brakes. What it does is that if you're pulling a trailer, and any of you that have done this before, if you get in windy conditions and you find your trailers moving around on you, it's very unsafe. So this system, the car basically will take over in that scenario. It literally will throttle the car down, the computer does this, and it gets it back under control just by adjusting the brake, uh, tapping the brake to get it down to that point so it's safer again. But that's part of it. Uh, stability control is another thing that's part of Jeep uh, is, again, the off-road characteristics. I, some people were saying well, with Jeeps, and I've had my customers say it, well, it's a tall vehicle, is it tippy? You know, if, you know, these things could it roll over. Well, this has another feature called roll mitigation. What roll mitigation does is if you're going off-road and the car, if the, if the car starts to tip and the wheels, there's a sensor that if the wheels start coming off the ground, the car will literally take over again, the computer. It'll throttle down and it'll tap the brakes to get you back down so all four wheels are on the ground, which is the maximum amount of maneuverability and safety with four-wheel drive. Um, just a fun vehicle all the way around, one that I would highly recommend. We've got great incentives on them right now. There's a $3,000 incentive from rebate. They lease well, and we'd invite you to come and take a test drive. Thanks.